Uh, we will, uh, you will be hearing a little background noise because we are in my home. Uh, thank you to my wife. She has allowed us to set up this nice little studio in her living room or her, or her dining room. Hi everybody, my name is Justin Blanchard. For those of you uh, that don't know me, um, I'm the developer of the Echo Tail system, co-founder of Vibrations Tackle, along with my father Rob here. Hi there. Uh, both of us have, uh, I guess, kind of born into fishing. Um, I guess I'll start with my dad really quick. I think it's important for our uh, followers and fans um, to understand where we're coming from and our background. So, Dad, uh, I'll let you go. Yeah, I uh, grew up on Lake Wabisa, uh, the Madison chain, and uh, my dad still lives in that his house. Uh, he's been there 65 years, so... Um, started out fishing cane poles, graduated to the uh, Zepco 202, and went on from there. Uh, all kinds of fish. I, my favorite fish growing up was walleyes, so I used to have an ice shack just after I got out of high school, and even through high school, it was 8 by 8 caught a lot of fish, walleyes, uh, and pike. On Wabisa, uh, ice fishing from all year we did... Uh, fishing year round we actually what we caught we ate back then so yep and uh that's kind of where i i came in uh grew up fishing lake wabisa both of my grandparents uh were on the lake yep and that's where that's where it all began uh and it also began with a fascination in a product that um that i i just had i could picture the way that it worked and i knew that it was already a very versatile system. Uh, once again, for those of you that are watching, we are uh, broadcasting live here in our studio from the house. So if you hear any background noise, it's our it's our kids. This is how we this is how we operate. It's uh it's a crazy house. I have four kids, a wife. Uh, many of you see my wife possibly in the uh, debut trailer. Um, she's going to be a part of this whole operation along with our family because um, we got four kids and we we're all over the place. And uh, I guess that kind of leads me into uh, the product line and where, where it started and where it is today. Um, for those of you that don't know, back in 2011, we released uh, this, this blade bait. And this is a blade bait. If you can see that barb, uh, what we did was we took a blade bait that's been on the market for many years. Many good companies have made uh, their own versions i believe actually the um 1950s the head and sonar i think in 1956 or late sometime in the late 50s was the first one um what separates our uh our product from uh, other similar products on the market is the ability to interchange the soft plastic tails and what i mean by that is you can take and put plastic on the back of the barb um, it very easily interchangeable. There's a lot of plastics on the market and blade baits for those of you that don't know These holes up here. What you can do is attach your line to the top and when you pull on it It vibrates and it causes a lot of water displacement which attracts fish it creates um, You know it just creates it let it lets them know that that the lures there and it imitates a bait fish if you see their they're profiled like a bait fish. Now, what we did with that is we scaled it up and down. Um, blade baits are great for casting. Most people know a blade bait for vertical jigging. Um, and, and we have taken it into the uh, exploration of trolling. We started trolling with them right from the beginning. Um, so we make a line of blade baits, a versatile lure, uh, that uh, can be used from panfish all the way up to we've had tuna fish caught on them, uh, saltwater fish. So what that has stemmed into this one this one lure, okay, versatility. We call that part without the hooks the skeleton. All right, and what what has been born into the echo tail was an, a product line that I never. I never imagined how um, the amount of options that it would offer today 
to being able to customize kind of like a, a do-it-yourself type uh, lure that that truly the angler can customize to their own uh, preferences as far as riggings. So with that being said, Dad, why don't you, why don't you show them uh, the, the, the product. And before I, I actually, you know what, before we get started into this, I think it's very important. We have a team of, um, of people that we've been working with, uh, in, and I need to credit some, some individuals from our hometown that helped to uh, field test this. Uh, you know, we have uh, Ron Bearfield from McFarland, Wisconsin, Gary Lanaher from McFarland, Wisconsin, Mickey Wilson from McFarland, Wisconsin. All these guys helped and were supportive of us. Uh, many others, Zach Berg, as he helped us develop and customize a whitefish rig that does very well up in Green Bay. Uh, ben Wonky was a UW intern that helped us that helped us finalize a project here that Mickey Wilson started uh, using and as a as like a, a, a dunking bait. We call it the swim dunkin'. And if you want to explain that a little bit, the swim dunkin', that'd be good. Yeah. Swim he used the, he's used it the most this year. Yeah, it comes in your uh, kayak basket. We got the, there's three colors. Uh, we have the white, the brown, and the black, kind of greenish brown. Uh, and then two sizes. This is the uh, three eighths. I've used this the most because I'm fishing shallow water around weeds. Uh, it has a little bit slower descent. You can use this as a punch bait or as a casting lure over the top of the weeds. Pulls through the weeds nice. There's no weed, no lure that's 100% uh, uh, weedless, but uh, this works really well. As you can see, as you can see, this lure, I've used it quite a bit this summer. So caught a lot of fish. This is the lure I actually uh, lost that uh, 30 inch plus walleye on up in Mercer on Echo Lake, just off a of pier, shore fishing. Raining really hard, just wanted to get my line wet and uh, first cast, oh, this is easy. So, uh, but uh, comes in uh, the three colors and some come with a skirt on. What's unique about this lure is the tails. Uh, this is a Kalen, uh, I believe this is a five inch. That's a five, yeah, that's a five. I really like it on that three eighths ounce, pops right on there. I do put the tail down still. When I when I put that on, what I'm doing is making seeing where that seeing where that hook comes through it, and just put it through. Make sure it's on there straight. Paddle tail, same thing. Here's the paddle tail on it. Same lure. We got the three inch paddle tail, same lure, with the five inch. Okay, so. And what's re what's really neat about this whole entire system is that at the end of the day. Um, you still have a blade bait underneath. So underneath, you still have the original echo tail. So we've taken Here. a blade bait and, and we've turned it into a swim bait and a swim jig. I actually took this lure that's supplied in the kits and I made this out of it. I said, hey, this is, uh, I wanted the, the uh, shiner type lure with the white. More natural looking. Natural color. looking. So right. I took that lure, took those hooks off, put that hook on as the extra hooks do come in the kit. So. Now the third, uh, really quick, the third, the third lure that we have, it's called the Funny Bone, um, and I got to give uh, full credit to a guy by the name of Tony Puccio for for helping us come up with that name. He's the proud another uh, Madison area, um, Verona, Wisconsin. Um, oh, I'm losing battery here, really quick. I gotta make sure this is charged. Um, there we go. Verona, Wisconsin. Um, He's uh, one of the uh, pioneers of bait fish, uh, bait rigs, and tackle. And uh, I gotta take my hat off to Tony. Is that camera that's dying? Is that? Yeah. I do apologize here, guys, for all these little technical difficulties. There we go. Because this is the first time in a while. There we go. Okay. Uh, that we've been in the studio here but the bottom line here is that the echo tail blade bait system has been scaled up and down uh, to being able to uh, basically be very versatile and allows anglers to truly kind of build their own lure on the fly we've been at this for seven years now and uh, all of these lures we can probably say are made in the USA and uh, it's a family owned uh, business we're all very very busy dad's retired um, so he does uh, a lot of our fishing um, he's taken uh, as you 
heard in the beginning trips up to uh, Mercer. He goes down south to Florida. So he's a what we call a snowbird, right? You're a retired Used snowbird. To Used to we be. We didn't yeah, get down there last winter. Yeah. But um, you know the uh, what we what we realized a few years back uh, is that this product line really started. We've noticed that it excelled in a in a in an area within the fishing industry uh, that was a solution to a problem and. What that problem was, was that uh, a kayak angler or a paddle sport angler uh, really uh, doesn't have a ton of space. So that's kind of where this whole travel thing started. And, and, and you know, it, it kind of it spun into, you know, Dad and I started talking. We've been traveling with these in our, in our vehicles from day to day. We don't do a lot of fishing. A lot of our friends and family think that we fish a lot, and we truly don't. It might appear to, at least it does not, we're not fishing as much as I would like to, but the thing is, is it, it offers a, a lot of options. Like you see Dad's container here. I mean, you have so many options packed in a small container. So with one lure, if you took one lure, you could literally make a swim bait, a swim jig, uh, a casting spoon. You could have a blade bait. It offers you the ability to cast from shore. It offers you the ability to, to troll it from a, from a boat. Um, so, you know, as a family man, I've got four kids, a wife. When we go and take our vacations, it is, I've got a lot of tackle. I've got a lot of tackle that, um, that I used to use a lot more before we started the company. And I still use a lot of, a lot of uh, that tackle in certain situations. But... The, the bottom line is that I don't have enough space in my car because I've got our family and now with this system, it, we, I really haven't had to bring a whole lot with us. Um, but you can see all the different uh, tail options. Is that what you're gonna yeah, talk these about? Yeah, are, these are the two um, Plano boxes I use Let me show up that up in the camera. I like to uh, put my tails into a separate box. It keeps them organized. And I know if I'm running out of one, I don't have to look around for a half hour. But uh, you know, you got the the frogs. Justin, what's this one called now? The Kalen seismic. That's a seismic grub. Yeah. That's a, okay. That's a yeah. Seismic grub. Did you yeah. find that up in Mercer at the shop? Yeah, they there? had they, okay. they had that up in Mercer. They did not you have. Check my notes here. Yeah, they did not have the uh, seismic shad. So I, I had some with me, but I and I, I bought a few back home. I uh, did have they did have the. It's kind of their end of the year, so we're letting the products run out. So yeah, you know it's but, uh, uh, they, it, it's kind of that transitional part of the year in which we do have our our ice line too, and I'd like to talk about that in another another segment, probably in one of our uh, weekly uploads. And that's one of the things that we are going to be doing. We're going to be uploading um, for all of you uh, uh, every single Wednesday. Uh, we hope to have. Uh, 1230 as kind of our committed uh, release that, that launch hour time um, that's one of the things we've really kind of been lacking and we've been what I think what they call a ghost marketer because you know all good intentions uh, to get our product out there and to so to people know about our product but the problem was is that we were doing I was doing so much work behind the scenes and getting this thing ready to go and restructuring everything that it, it just took a lot of time and um, can only do you know we're a small company so um, try to pick our battles but uh, we are we are here today and we're starting we're going to release a lot of this new stuff if you are checking out our website I do apologize we have a few uh, loose ends there but uh, we are working very hard to get it up get it up and going and, and excited to do so um, with this YouTube channel uh, what you are going to get from us is uh, Number one, an opportunity to kind of take a look behind the scenes of what what we do uh, as a small business here in uh, the country, in the USA. And uh, it's an opportunity to see from day to day kind of what, what it is, uh, you know, that we're doing uh, between uh, maybe a packing or maybe a, a painting process or um, maybe an order going out. Um, you know that process of what what it takes behind the scenes to, to operate our this whole thing but uh, the other thing too that I really wanted to stress if nobody has done it yet if you check out our website 
we have what's called a chatter report. It's our chatter fishing blog. And on the chatter report, what you will find is every single Monday, we will be uploading our fishing reports. And then also there's a calendar on the, uh, on the blog and that will have all of our postings uh, as to our scheduled events. Now, some of our, uh, some of our events uh, may be unannounced. Um, as mentioned, every Wednesday here on YouTube, we're going to be uh, releasing a new video, but there may be many times that we just simply um, have a, a product that we would like to educate our customers. For example, our Swim Duncan. We just we don't have the product videos up on this yet, and there's many things that uh, customers and uh, those that want to know about this product really should have access to. So. Um, with that being said, uh, our weekly uploads uh, will also uh, have uh, very good, useful educational uh, parts in there. I, partic I am a camera guy. I like cameras. Um, and I also like to, to video uh, edit. I use ed a lot of editing software. Um, but one of the things, if you did watch my trailer, I will put it in the link below. Uh, to go back and if you have not seen that yet, uh, but when I'm when I'm in the car traveling from day to day, you know I don't have a lot of time. I have this is what I bring with me. This sits in my car. This has everything from my my DSLR. I've got five GoPros in here uh, and fishing. Uh, just a small little box. Um, I've got batteries that are always charged. This is a system. Now this is always kind of changing. But the, the point is, is that I have to come up with very useful strategic ways in order for me to, to fish and film myself, um, you know, whenever I'm basically in between transit from, uh, you know, from my work, uh, my day job to uh, my house. I've got an hour drive, so uh, my bag changes uh, depending upon the season and uh, as to what I put in it. But uh, I think maybe we'll do our next episode on my favorite packings of the, the travel bag from day-to-day -day transit that might be a good uh, little uh, tidbit but the main point is, here is that every episode I'm gonna try to teach all of you how to use I'm, I'm very good with the GoPros um, I've had a lot of good um, uh, education uh, from uh, guys such as Brian Scaife who you may know from my uh, or our Catch the Vibe Outdoors channel uh, which is kind of on delay right now but uh, him and I have fished together. Um, I have learned things from Brian. He's learned from me ways to not have to burn up your batteries, ways not to have to burn up your SD cards. Um, how do you make a GoPro last all day without never having to look at the battery uh, and finding your film when you really want to find it quickly without having to chew up your entire uh, space on your computer. So um, with that being said, uh, once again, for any of you that are uh, watching, uh, this is the uh, Echo, Echo Tail uh, live broadcast debut, um, and this is kind of a new beginning. It's taken us about five, three years now out of seven to kind of restructure and uh, kind of get our, get our products uh, out there and educate those about them. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, we kindly ask you to subscribe. Um, and what we're looking for right now, does anybody, we want to, have a question you guys have any questions this is a q and a we would like to have questions about maybe the product if you have the product what is it that you struggle with the product everybody struggles with uh, a fishing lure uh, a new product until they become really familiar with it um, there's really as far as echo tail line there's almost no really wrong way to fish I would say an echo tail but I would definitely say that there's really really good ways to fish it um, so if anybody has any questions, um, we will continue looking back at this broadcast and I will be happy to answer them uh, throughout the day uh, along with uh, tomorrow as well. Um, so uh, once again, Dad, do you have any other th anything to add to this yeah, whole thing? Yeah, and uh, with, uh, with that Swim Duncan, uh, these are the three lures I basically used all summer. Right here, we got the half ounce Echo Tail, we got the... Uh, funny bone. I had three eighths or this ounce and a quarter. This one is right. Yep. And the swim Duncan's fishing off of here. Um, I take care of Sherry's mom and dad, so I help get their meds in the morning. They'll go down and cast off the pier. It's a block from my house on Wabiso, also. 
met Sherry on the lake. Uh, if it's in the morning, this works good. Why? Because in the evenings, if it's a hot, sunny day, you've got weeds up all over. This will work through the weeds, but not like not like the uh, Swim Duncan. If I got a lot of weed, surface weeds, Swim Duncan works good. I was throwing this into the lily pads, dragging it across the top, and having them pike come out and hit it. Uh, I fish in the weeds. Uh, real, it goes through it really good. Uh, traditional blade bait, our traditional blade bait works good too. If I'm not catching them on one of these three lures, uh, they're just not biting or there's no fish around. So, Yeah, it's, uh, it really, I want to stress some, another thing too here with this product line and, and with us. Um, this is not our, we have this, this product line and this product line has been, has been tested uh, by, we, we have fished with very good anglers, professional anglers um, that are in our area. When I say our area between Wisconsin and, and Illinois. Um, and uh, what I'm trying to get at here is that this product line has been very, very proven by very skillful anglers that are uh, as we know the the pros uh, within the fishing industry between being a tournament angler or some of them may be fishing guides um, but they are all professionals and they approve of our product line and they catch fish and with that being said um, there is a lot of travel right now going on and between uh, my age group uh, which I am kind of on the, the cutoff of being a millennial. And then we have my dad, who would be a, a baby boomer, who is retired and traveling. I recognize that there, there are a lot of anglers out there that, uh, that like to fish. Um, or uh, maybe some of them don't fish as often, and maybe some of them don't fish at all, uh, but maybe interested. And the point is, is that with all these vacations um everybody wants an experience everybody wants an adventure and i think that uh i would like to become an outlet for those that uh, want to learn a little more about fishing maybe not just our products just i i love to teach i love to to share information that that i that i have knowledge of um and such as the gopros and such as you know little ways to save you time and money on the on the cameras and the, and the video editing and I want people I want to I want people to feel like they can contact us I don't care if it's on YouTube I don't care if you guys and gals want to email yeah. me but just family fishing bobbers and worms you know that's that's part of travel and if you're a family travel uh, in the family and we all we all like to travel and, and to have kids and sometimes yeah it's nice to get a little break maybe cat take a couple cats from shore but you know what when it comes down to it we all need to get the kids into fishing um, but uh, anybody that's new with that that wants to learn how to fish or maybe check it out let's face it if you're traveling you're most likely gonna end up near water somewhere at least I, I I know a lot of people and a lot of my friends that don't fish and most of the time they're going to Florida or they're going to uh, a, ra a river rafting type or kayaking, you know, and hey, we've got a, a good uh, company that we partner with, um, or I should say um, promotional partner, St. Croix Rods and other neighboring Wisconsin. They got a good travel rod and, I, and I'm not paid by St. Croix by any means. I, I just support them because they're a neighboring company and I... Um, I believe in their products with our product because it helps me catch more fish. But, you know, St. Croix, they've got a good travel rod. There's many other travel rods out there. I, I seen Shimano's got one. Um, I think even Abu Garcia has travel, you know, where they break down. So uh, good for backpackers. Yeah. And <clears throat> You know, Justin, that's that's a good point. Um, well, I don't get to fish that often. Uh, and somebody said, well, I don't need that good equipment. Yes, you do. If you don't fish that often and you have a chance to go fishing, you want to have the best equipment you possibly can have to catch that once-in-a-lifetime fish. You know, you can go pick up a $10 or $20 rod, but uh, that's probably what it's going to be. Uh, sometimes that's all you have. But uh, if you can have a travel rod with you that ha you have the confidence you've caught fish on, that's a good thing. Yep. Just the other day, I was down at Fowler 
lake and I seen this young young man come down and he had a small little red kayak and I, I told my wife Katie I said hey look at that got his kayak in the in the water I mean he must have within within five minutes he parked he had his kayak in the water it's amazing a, a two-piece rod yeah. he was already in the water casting I was right. it, you know and it's that type of thing that um, this you know I guess what did I say in the last last week I said it's the the system it's it's the fish that that never was is the one that now is that's what the system allows uh, those that want to fish and trap I mean a lot of times my biggest thing when I'm if, if like for example when we go camping I'm trying to think what do I want to bring I got to think about it because I'm thinking about a million other things and trying to get the family stuff in and I don't have time to think and what that's what we're gonna do is put these uh, kits together and show we want to make sure that everybody understands how to use our product line that's the most important thing um, but uh, I'm really excited about this new venture um, I'm excited to uh, share my education on anything that I can teach in the fishing world and beyond really um, we're gonna be having uploads of vlogs fishing we have like seven years of fishing videos that have really never been seen before um, because we kind of been waiting for this moment to kind of get everything finally put together and start uh, getting it out there, showing everybody what we've been doing for the last seven years. So um, with that, uh, leave a comment in the comments below if you haven't. Um, tell us where you've traveled uh, and fished this past year. Um, or just, you know what, simply in the comments below, just put... Uh, travel fishing that's that's it we want to hear we want to see from our followers yeah. and who's interested who's who's interested in traveling more often i sure i sure am. and travel even means right around your house you know you might hey it's uh go down to the lake go down to the pier go down to the shoreline someplace in a park take a few casts you'd be surprised how many f people are fishing those those areas around your home in like in madison area there's some of the best fishing uh, under the bridges around the docks so uh, it's that's where we grew up fishing it's like before we had boats we were just fishing those areas those are all good areas of fish and uh, we're going to talk about those too absolutely so i think i think that kind of wraps up our live segment uh today i really um appreciate everybody that that did uh watch i think we've got a few people watching right now we are going to be broadcasting at 2 or 12 30 the lunch hour and all of our uploads will be uh, broadcasted around that time on Saturdays we will be uh, having the Echo Tail Corner store right here in the studio uh, we will have a scheduled program this 12 uh, this upcoming Saturday at 12 30 uh, Monday morning look for the chatter report uh, fishing report blog and with that being said I think we're gonna wrap this up and I uh, hope everybody has a, a good week and good luck fishing Oh, you know what? No, I don't. I almost forgot one more thing. We can't We're wrap this on. up. Why? Because they didn't even get to see. There. Are we still going? We didn't even sh we didn't even show them what it looks like. We've got a jig tank here. Oh, okay. Oh. They don't the most see... important part. Look at we we didn't even show everybody what it looks I like. I want to see what this looks like in there. All right. I was casting it this way. That's another thing we're going to be doing too. We're going to be on Tuesdays. Let's see here. Now on Tuesdays we're going to be having, it's going to be called Tanked on Tuesdays because we're going to be broadcasting, for those of you that have not joined the Echo Tail Blade Bait Club, we have a section, Tanked on Tuesdays, once again, check on the Echo Tail Chatter, this is our jig tank, and what we can do is display any products that you want to see in the water, live. You're going to have to go to our Facebook group, search Echo Tail Blade Bait Club. This right here is a quarter ounce. So you can see that, that vibration. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can see it pretty well on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. 
Dan it's Butcher, are you watching? Is that in the back hole there? Outdoor Trade Show channel. Said looks good, sounds good. Nope, this is just in the, let's see, we got the, this is in the middle hole. But we're going to dive into that with, uh, and some other tutorials. There we go. Use the back three holes. What is that, a Mr. Twister on the back of that? Uh, you know, I got it. It might be. It's like a, I don't know, it's not like a leech, but it's just. I saw it and I said, man, that's going to work good. And that, what's I'm nice show about. Too. Actually, you know what? Might as well make this a little bit educational, huh? See how that back, that back hook is pinned on the back here? We've noticed a significant increase in hookup ratios. With that back hook pinned on the back of the plastic, we offer all these different holes. This is a rattle, uh, we call it a shaker echo tail, but this is a little bit larger tail. And you see how that hangs there like that? These back, all these holes allows you to being able to adjust for different uh, vibration uh, tones. And also it gets that lure head, that jig head tipped forward a little more uh, offering the vibration, it kind of over uh, rides the tail. We I bought those because they were out of leeches up in Mercer, so we thought, well, I'll bring some of them along. And we used night crawlers, leeches, and minnows. Yeah, it looks good. That casts really good using those back two holes. You can actually hear you can hear the the, can you? the rattle? rattle pretty good, yeah. yeah. I wanted Bob to stick his head underwater to see if he could <laughs> hear it, but he wouldn't do it. That's good. <laughs> All right. All right, that's officially it. That is the end of the show. Thank you everybody for watching. Thanks.